Dinah loved that dog. Dad insisted they were working animals for guarding and hunting. He didn't give them names. But Droopy had this sad expression and my sister named him and doted on him. Dinah was distraught when we came back to the compound without him. He caught some scent, I told her, dropping a brace of rabbits for Mum's pot. He disappeared. But Droopy might come back, Dinah insisted. Dogs find their way home. If it shows up, you shoot it, Dad interrupted, loading a rifle. Ghosts can ride dogs too. Remember what happened to the Parnells? Our neighbour, Mr Parnell, brought back a possessed dog and the ghost in it jumped to someone in his family. We heard their screams over the short band radio. Then silence. That's why we tested our dogs with salt before opening the wrought iron gates. But when Droopy returned, Dad was out hunting. The injured dog crawled to the gates. Bring him in, Dinah screamed, adding her wails to the dogs. Dad was furious when he returned. He made Dinah show where the animal was hidden, under a lean-to behind the composting bins. Droopy stared up at us with that melancholy expression, face sagging with regret. You disobeyed me, so you watch what happens. I'm doing this for all your sakes. He made me shoot the dog. His anger and his fear affected me like an unbearable ache. For all your sakes, you hear, he said. The world's gone to hell. The ghosts, they hate us. If just one of them gets in, just one. Dinah's hard face showed how much she hated him for being right. Just as she loved her big brother for carrying the injured animal through the iron gates and over the line of salt crystals protecting the compound. That's how I got inside. In the dog, then into the person. I pulled the trigger and the woods echoed. I walked away from the father's corpse towards the kitchen, leaving Dinah sobbing and the dog howling in sympathy. He'd been wrong, the father, when he said we hated the living. You don't hate toothache, but you want it to stop. As I stalked the mother, an ululating cry rose from my lips. A cry of hope for a world where the dead could know peace. A world that children and their dogs would inherit one day. If you enjoyed My Sister's Dog, read more daily ghost stories and please like and subscribe.